All right. <clears throat> Do you have a sound now, guys? Do you have a sound now? Do we have a sound? Uh, please give me yes if you have a sound. Uh, sorry for that. It uh, looked like we have... Uh... <clears throat> All right. Sorry for this. It was my mistake, actually. Uh, you know, the software you have to you have to add yourself to the broadcast in order to speak. So I, I want to say thank you again and the peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, as you see in the screen, uh, we have a video. And uh, the person who posted this video, uh, he have 291,000 review or review. And uh, as you see, he added my name there. And the translation for the video, as I understand, do Christian Prince knew this? For sure, a Christian prince, you do not know. I mean, you think a Christian prince, he knew everything. There is no way, a Christian prince, he do not know that. I mean, isn't it obvious? Like, do Christian prince know this? Let me tell you things, a Christian prince, you do not know. Christian prince, you do not know who is the father of Mickey Mouse. And even who is his mother. Do Christian prince knew this? Okay, what Christian Prince knew or he do not know? <clears throat> Let us see. I'm not going to play the tape, but I got a translation just to save our time. We don't want to waste our time. This guy, he said that Isa, he said there is a prophet will come after me. His name is uh, Ahmed. Let us go to the verse on the Quran and love together. Chapter 61, verse number 6. The verse says, There's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmad. <clears throat> this uh, a person who claimed to be an ustad, he said that the word Ahmad is an attribute. And by the way, I agree with him. <clears throat> this is not the true name of Muhammad. And Muhammad is not a true name. So this guy, he agreed at least with the Christian prince, that Muslims are following a fabricated name. It is an attribute. It is not the real name of Muhammad. If you don't believe me, go watch the video and you will see he said that. He said, this is an attribute. Now for me, I'm reading the translation of the person who sent me the translation of the video. As you know, I don't speak Indonesian. So as long as the Muslims they agree that Ahmad is an attribute, then what is the name of your prophet? Correct? According to the book of histories, Muhammad's name is Qutham. And Qutham have many names. One of them is the sperm of the hyena. Some of them, it is the, the mental how you use it. The spoiled milk or whatever. <clears throat> So Muhammad, his real name is Qutham, and the Muslims finally, they start agreeing that the real name of their prophet is not Muhammad, is not Ahmad. Those are a title. But look at this. As long Muhammad and Ahmad is a title, that means this is stupid to say that there's a prophet will come after me, his name shall be Ahmad. If you read with me, <clears throat> it says here, who his name is Ahmad. So why he is using the word name if it is a title? Can't he use the word attribute? This is a mistake in the Arabic language of the author of the Quran because when you say the word ism, ism is not a title. Ism is what, this is what his name. Ism in the Arabic means name. His name is Ahmad. So his name is Ahmad. So who is Muhammad? And you will notice that Ahmad and Muhammad, there's a huge difference in writing. They are not even close. Secondly, <clears throat> Isa said that there is someone will come after me. His name is Ahmad. Who said that? Isa, no, this is Muhammad saying that. 
who is the one who brought this verse for us? Remember, Christians, remember, Muslims, who is the one who gave you this verse? Is that Isa? No. Who is the person who gave you this verse? This person, his name is Muhammad. So I will make a verse now saying that uh, 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 Isa, he said, there's a, uh, a prophet will come after me. His name is a Christian prince. People will laugh at me. Are you getting my point? So you bring me a guy saying that he is a prophet. He is saying that. It's not Isa. Isa never said that. And the proof we cannot find that in any book, any book. The only book mentioned such a statement is a book. It's called the Quran, which means this guy he have no witnesses for what Isa said. So I will come six hundred years after Muhammad, and I will say that Muhammad he said there's a prophet brother will come after me. His name is Zakir Naik. <clears throat> this is stupid. How you accept such a thing? A person making a verse saying he is a prophet, he will come after Isa, and he's making the verse 600 years after Isa. He never saw Isa, he never met. And who is Isa, by the way? You see, here there is another stupid thing in, in, in the cult of Islam. Muhammad even could not quote the name of Christ correctly. Who is Isa? Who is this guy, Isa? I challenge the Muslim to show me where this is, name came from. Oh, I mean, why the Christian they want to change the name of this person? I mean, do you think there's a conspiracy too there? Find me one reason for the Christian to change the name of their God. We understand that in the Greek language, there is no equal letters the same as in uh, Hebrew. So the name Yeshua <coughs> is not be able to be written in the Greek language. So it became by time Jesus because they don't have equal letters. But Yeshua is Yeshua. So why the Christian they want to change that? How Yeshua became Isa? Who is Isa? And as long the guy in the video, this funny sheikh, who claimed to be a sheikh, you know, they grew a beard and they claimed that they became Ustad. You know, in Indonesia, look like the only reason or the only qualification for you to be an Ustad is to grow a beard. I have a beard since I uh, since I was five years, uh, five day, uh, five day old. I shaved my beard when I was seven days old. I started dating girls when I was uh, uh, eight, eight days old. What is that? So he grew a beard and he starts saying things which is really destroying Islam left or right. So by saying that Muhammad is an Ahmad is not a name, it is attribute. Then why you Muslim you call yourself Ahmad and Muhammad? Because this attribute should be only for Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? If this is an attribute for one person only, because if you are saying to me that, okay, well, Isa said there is a person and his attribute is Ahmad. His attribute is Ahmad then this attribute should not be named to anyone because this is an attribute for only one person. So why you call your son Ahmad and you call your sons Muhammad? You will notice that Muslim, they will never call their sons Christ, Al-Masih, because that is a title and attribute to one person, one person only. No name, no one should give, should have that name. And as long as Isa, he said, there is a person will come after me and his attribute is Ahmad. What Ahmad mean? And what Muhammad mean? They are close in meaning, but they are not the same. Ahmad and Muhammad, there is a little difference between them, which is important. Muhammad means the praised one. That's mean you Muslims claim that you are following a person he claimed to be God because who is the praised one beside God? The only one should be praised 
is God no man to be praised isn't it your prophet he admit that he is a sinner and Allah you know uh, he is saying to him may Allah forgive your sin so how the son is sinner he is the praised one you praise him for what for his sin hmm? madness uh, hold on may Allah forgive to you your sin in the past in the future so why Muhammad his name or his attribute is the praised one if he was a sinner in the past and he is a sinner in the future is that how we call the sinner the praised one the only praised one is someone who never commits sin at least we praise him for he is perfect we praise him for he is being holy but a person who commits sin left and right and the Quran confirm that you see some translation they say to you and me Allah forgive your fault what fault you eat it it says them in Arabic the word them mean sin and sin specifically against God and look what the Quran is saying here which is funny and stupid that Allah may forgive your sin what does that mean Allah may but he may not I mean even his sin is not guaranteed to be forgiven and why what kind of God he says that Allah may forgive your sin who is the one is talking you see, if Allah is talking, he will not say that Allah may forgive your sin because the one is talking is Allah. But because the one who wrote this verse is Muhammad. And Muhammad is trying to make himself, clear himself from his sin in the front of his uh, friends because they knew how bad he is. So he made a verse says that Allah may forgive my sin in the past and the future. This is a prayer. This is can't be God talking. Isn't it the most time they say if Allah wants something, he say be? But by the way, we never saw Allah creating anything by saying be, and it was nothing. That is a false statement. Allah, if he is God, he will not say that Allah, Allah is speaking about Allah. Allah according himself that Allah that's stupid in the language stupid in the meaning stupid in the structure stupid in the writing and it does not make sense are you forgiving him or not so Allah may forgive your sin okay so why Muhammad name is Muhammad and why his name is Ahmad he's a sinner like the rest what is the attribute which is given to Muhammad which should not be found in any human being for 600 years after Jesus what is that the Muslims they say that one of the names of the Prophet or people they call him with is a sadiqul Amin and always I laugh when I see this statement that Muhammad is they called him Asadiqul Amin. Let us see how funny this statement is. Al Sadiq Al Amin. That is hilarious. The Sadiq, the Amin, which means the honest, the true, worthy, the the, the 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 trustworthy. Do you know how Muhammad he got married? How many of you knows how Muhammad get married? Do you know that Muhammad and Khadija, in order to get married, they made the, the, the father of Khadija drunk? And when he is drunk, 
they changed his clothing and when he woke up they lied to him saying you married me to Muhammad which means that Muhammad he used the alcohol which is the 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 fruit of shaitan brother shaitan isn't it the Quran says that alcohol and gambling and etc is from shaitan so Muhammad and Khadija they are trustworthy they betray the father of Khadija they made him a drunk and then when he is a drunk they took off his clothes and his panty and they change all his clothing and make him wear a new suit like you know when you go to a party you wear different clothes so this guy they drunk him and they made him when he went to make him believe that there was a wedding party last night the guy he woke up in the morning he said why I'm wearing those clothes Khadija said to him oh don't you know he said what yesterday you married me to Muhammad what I did not marry you to Muhammad that's not true that's cannot be true that is disgusting Muhammad is a bad person I cannot accept Muhammad the guy he took his sword and he want to attack the tribe of Muhammad or the family of Muhammad and this is all is registered in their books and the funny they say to you that Muhammad was from a noble family he is from a noble family to the point that you have to drunk the father of a woman she have two husbands before Muhammad and yet he don't accept that Muhammad marry his daughter Do you see how much uh, this is the book of Tariq al-Tabari because people they might say okay where we can find this volume number two page number 36 you don't speak Arabic so I'm going to use translation you know what I don't I'm not going to use uh, English translation I will try to find uh, uh, translation to Indonesian I don't know if we can find that translate I translate right away to English now okay options translate I always translate Arabic or with choose language change languages okay it has changed language Arabic to Indonesian where is Indonesian what is the Indonesian language it's called what is called I will find it under what letter? Indonesian ba Basha, right? Some Basha B with letter B. Uh, it doesn't say Indonesian. I cannot see the. Uh, here we go. I found Indonesian. Hold on. Here we go. All right. So now the, the the site is translated to Indonesian and I have no idea what it says there you guys you read but you will see that Khadija she drunken her father by the help of Muhammad in order to marry Muhammad what and very trustworthy women what a very trustworthy son-in-law imagine there is a woman she bring a boyfriend because until now Muhammad is not her husband she bring a boyfriend to the house of her father they keep it make him a drink black label yeah oh, is that getting drunk uh, Khadija what's my name uh, daddy your name is Batman so Khadija is so good very good women to the point she is drugging her father with the help of Muhammad in order to fool him and make him believe that he did marry her to the man his name is Muhammad and by the way this story is exist in many many places not only here tons of places so why Muhammad is called Muhammad the praised one for a drunken his father-in-law so he can cheat 
this marriage is not valid because it's a fraud. So the first thing Muhammad he did in his life, it was a fraud. The first thing he accomplished in his God, which is getting married, is based on a fraud. Do you see it? Guys, which word here it says uh, he she made him a drunk? Anyone can tell me? I don't know which one now. Which one make him drunk? Let me read Indonesian. The message of Allah is Alice I W Dan Baria Latin Ladir the young uh Koraisi uh Otuk uh Hosha Ho Ho Hobasha uh from Bamba. I don't know like what I need to learn uh everyone went back to English. Okay, we go back to English, no problem. No problem, no problem, no problem. I know now what happened. Well, the the website now is automatically is uh, and the, the option translate is not there. What I will do, hold on. Translate. No, translate. Where is translate? Uh, I don't know. I cannot find it. Hello? <laughs> Maybe here? No. No. Where is translate now? Oh, boy. How we can get it back to English? Uh, <clears throat> I think we need to say takbir. I think if we say takbir, we can get the translation back to English. Hold on, let me say takbir. Take a beer. Oh, where is translation? Translation disappear. Hold on. Um, which one? Which one? Uh, here, maybe. Aha, uh -huh, I found it. Okay. Option translate always to Arabic, change language. All right. Now we go to Eng English. Where is English? It's even hard to find English. Where is the English? I cannot find English. Anyway, until we find the the uh, translation back, as you see, they try to fool us and say that Isa, or which is supposedly Jesus, he said there is a prophet will come after me, and his name is Ahmad. Number two in this madness, you just said that Isa said that there's a messenger will come after me and his name or a prophet will come after me and his name is Ahmad. Okay, is Muhammad is a prophet? You guys, don't the Muslim they say that there's a difference between messenger and a prophet? Actually, just two days ago, we have a Muslim who said to us, yeah, there is a different. They are not the same. All Muslims agree that the prophet is not a messenger and a messenger is not a prophet. So according to the Quran, Isa said there is a messenger, not a prophet. And even your Muslim translations say so. There is a messenger will come after me. Okay, who is the one who sent this messenger? If you remember when we asked the Muslims about chapter 36, how these three uh, messengers were sent by Jesus. Three messengers were sent by Jesus. Uh, the Muslims, they say those are messengers. They are not prophets. But that means Jesus can send messengers and he can make you a messenger messenger of God who can do miracle so when Muhammad he is claiming that there is a person his name is Isa he said that he will uh, uh, Muhammad will be sent and he will be a messenger who is going to send him is that Isa and why he is a messenger not a prophet in the top of that if Muhammad is a prophet shouldn't first you prove to me that Muhammad was a prophet what is the requirement to be called a prophet yeah, the word Nabi mean a prophet. The word Rasul is a messenger. This is true. But you know, you cannot be a messenger if you are not a prophet. 
that is something stupid the Muslims believe in to believe that there's somebody can be a messenger but he is not a prophet I'm going with their stupid with the stupid things they have you know otherwise you cannot be a messenger from God without being a prophet because messenger of God he deliver a message which nobody knows save God that will make it a prophecy correct if I speak to you about the future telling you what will happen in the future that is a prophecy and all messengers they deliver a message from God which nobody knows otherwise there's no need for him so it's a prophecy when a messenger he come and he says hey believe in Allah otherwise you will go to hell this is a prophecy this is a, something will happen in the future so he's a messenger yes but he's a prophet at the same time so they are very naive and they have a very awkward belief but look at this when you say that Isa he said there's a messenger will come after me Shouldn't you prove to me first that Muhammad is a messenger and he have a message? What is the message of Islam? What is the message of Muhammad? So he will be a messenger. If we read the Quran from the beginning to the end, we will find that the message is coming must be. If it's coming from God, this God is a stupid. He need to go to school. Have you ever heard of a God? He think that the sperm is coming from the ribs of the women and the sperm of the man is coming from his backbone by the way my backbone is hurting me because I did the sperm donation in the bank of uh, sperm I have a big account for a sperm in the bank brother sperm coming from the backbone and this is the message of God. Muhammad is telling us something nobody knows. That is deep. There's no God in the world was able to discover this. So Allah, he wrote a book. He went to his room and he like he sat in the beach. He opened the umbrella. He wear his bikini and he start thinking what I will send a message for those are human in Indonesia hmm. <sighs> what I will write for them I will tell them something nobody knows so they can believe in me that I'm God hmm. okay Indonesian people a hey, brother and sister I will tell you something nobody know that men they have a sperm and the sperm is coming from the backbone and women they have a sperm is coming from the top of their ribs don't you see that this verse is ripping us off so Muhammad is a prophet of God and he have a message and the message is that there's a sperm coming from the backbone of the man and from the location of the ribs of the women and where the location of the necklace is specifically hmm? this is the message or maybe the message who remember which verse Muhammad he speak about eating in your house who remember let's see just to show you the wise Allah the message of the Quran, the message of Islam, which chapter, which verse, Muhammad he speak about you can eat in your home. Anyone? Anyone remember? No, no, no. You can eat in your home. Where you where it says you can eat in your home. Hello. Anyone knows? <clears throat> I'm very disappointed of you, you people. What is that? You guys, you are not okay. I was going to name you Ustad so you can open a business in Indonesia because all what you need is to grow a beard and, uh, you know, uh, that's it. You uh, say as you wish and say whatever you wish and who cares? Nobody speak Arabic there. Is that the true brother?
All right. Look at the wisdom of the prophet. Anyone want to tell me the wisdom of the Prophet? Who is a Muslim want to tell us something? You know what? Forget about the verse about eating in the house of your uh, your uh, family. Because obviously this is very wise. I mean, this is super wise. You cannot, you cannot really, uh, uh, I mean, you cannot, you cannot ignore how how beautiful this is. Is anyone? Who is a Muslim want to give us something very wise about your prophet? Anyone? I'm, wait I'm waiting for the Muslims. Where is the Muslims who want to tell us something wise about the prophet? Why? Why the Muslims suddenly? They are out of out out of amazing things in the wisdom and the Quran. Who is a Muslim want to show me something wise in the Quran? What happened? Suddenly, all the wisdom of the Prophet is gone. Why is that? Okay, well, we gave the Muslims a chance to give us some wisdom, but look like eh, they will not help us. So we have to do it ourselves. There is no restriction on the blind, nor any restriction on the lame, no restriction on the sick, nor in yourself to eat in your houses. Oof, 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 oof. This is deep. Allah, he went to his office in the middle of the night. He woke up. He said, I have to write this before I forget it. And he starts writing the wisdom that we can eat in our houses. If you are a blind brother, you can eat in your houses. A brother, if you are a person who cannot walk straight, you can eat in your houses. A brother, if you are sick, you can eat in your houses. Like where people eat then? They eat in the street. At that time, they have McDonald's. Where they will eat? And then, even if you are not sick, you are not blind, you are not lame, you can eat in your houses. So what the point? Just say what, what, what this is always about. This is the message of the prophet. Or the house of your father, Indonesian people. Listen, you can. I have a good news for you. Finally, you can eat the house in the house of your father. So I was eating in the house of who all my life. People before Islam, they were eating in the house of who before. Thank you, Allah. You just allowed us to eat in the house of our father, and the house of your mother. Like, what? I never know that. I just noticed it. Or the house of your brother, what? Really? Are you serious? Or the house of your sister, that's deep. That's so deep. This is the message of the prophet. But the prophet, he have more deep messages. Any Muslim woman, she wanna take off her panty and give herself to the prophet, that is deep message. Isn't it? Allah, he went to his office and he started writing this verse. O Prophet Muhammad, O darling, verily we have made lawful for you your wives. You idiot, they are already his wives and he is doing boom, boom with them for the last 20 years. Now you are telling him I made it lawful for you? Don't you think it's too late? We made lawful for you your wives? Is that a news? Okay, to whom have you paid? Okay, you have to pay them. You have to pay them. And then, and those captive, Allah allowed Muhammad to rape slaves. That is the news. 
Muhammad the trustworthy he rapes slaves not marry them no to rape them whom your right hand possess whom Allah has given you Allah is the one who gave him his first women they are gift from Allah Allah he took like a thousand women he dumped him in the house of Muhammad with no panties this is a gift from Allah Muhammad he don't want women Muhammad he don't care for women Muhammad he like only cappuccino and shish kebab and hummus and anything else he don't care for he's very humble but Allah Allah insists I will give you a lot of women for boom boom you take them from their husband and you rape them and your daughter and the daughter of your what uncles Allah is teaching Muhammad you can marry your cousin I thought a cousin is my sister why he is in the time of Adam and Eve there was no women it's allowed in Islam to marry your cousin and because of that they have a very 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 high defect in birth because they marry from first cousin your cousin is your sister and the daughter of your uh, paternal uncle and uh, the daughter and the daughter and the, uh, this is Allah is counting him how many daughters he can marry from that the guy already have 13 wives all this verse is just about Muhammad who he can sleep with this is the message of God this is just for Muhammad by the way this is not for the Muslims this verse is only for the Lulu 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 of Muhammad the one between his you know this is a guideline for Muhammad the private part where you can park where you cannot park okay so listen Muhammad there is something between your legs and this is where you can park it this is what the message is about and then things is getting more hot he said to him, and any believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet, and he had lying in the translation, they say to marry her. To marry her, woman, she is coming to the prophet, says, take me, baby. Look at the prophet, how nice he is. He taken, uh, uh, hello. Uh, yes, how oh, I can help you. Christian Prince, take me. Uh, what, what do you mean? I want you to take me I take you where like do you want to go to the bus station train station no I want you to take me to the bedroom why is that because you're a prophet of Allah uh, okay so because I'm a prophet of Allah now I have more duty I thought my duty is to hate hummus and to take money from the Muslims and now I have additional duty to have sex with the, any woman she gave herself to the I mean, do you see how much the prophet he was devoting himself to service of all? What does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with God? That any woman she can give herself to the prophet. Hmm? Why we have only one one thousand two hundred seventy six Indonesian? Where is the rest of the two hundred three hundred Indonesian? I thought they would be here today. Okay, it's your fault. I was going to disturb. I was going to tell you the the good news. Allah, brother, he offer you any Muslim women she gave herself to you. How come this is only for the prophet? Have you ever heard of God? He make a privilege about sex for one man. Why? Is the prophet part of Muhammad is holy? <sighs> mean, I never thought about this before. Why there's a privilege, sexual privilege, only for Muhammad? The Muslim, they can marry only four wives. If we can call that marriage, it's not. It's a fornication. But Muhammad have no limit. And then after Muhammad, he made this verse, some women who they are not good looking, with my respect to all the women. I'm not a good looking too, actually. I really look so bad, to be honest with you. I was thinking to go to Thailand to do plastic surgery. So maybe finally, any women she offer himself to me, not in marriage, as the Quran said. I want to be a prophet for a day, a day in my life. I want to be Muhammad for a day in my life and women they will line up in the front of my door and all of them they have a sign that says take me take me now was only once 
I will change my name to be Muhammad. So a woman, she will say to me, call me baby. <laughs> Look at this guy. The woman is lined up. I mean, who's left? The, the, the daughter of your uncle and the daughter of the uncle. And the daughter of the daughter. And the daughter of the daughter. All of this to, this is all for Muhammad. How many women already we have here? How many daughters and cousins and cousins of the cousins? And why women they will offer themselves to a married man? Did you ask yourself such a question? Anyway, we will not stop here. That's it. But Muhammad then after he made this verse, he felt so bad. Why? Because some women who they are not good looking, sadly, they start offering themselves to the Prophet. So Muhammad, he have to come with a new verse. Look at this verse. You, Muhammad, S-A-W, this is a short wave, like, in, in, so you can reach Muhammad in Indonesia. You can postpone some of those women. Like, what? Yes, because now he, they, what he would do, he told them, any woman, she can offer herself. And there's some women, they are old, they don't want old, you want young. They are offering themselves, so he have to give himself an excuse for what he just said. He was talking about any beautiful woman she offer herself, not anyone she is old and not good looking. Like, come on! So, in order to get away from this tra trap, he said, "Allah told me I can postpone upon any of you, and I can sleep with any of you first. It's not like first come, first serve. No, 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 no. The Prophet he can postpone." On you this is from God this is from God God saying to Muhammad listen Abdul there is women they come to you brother some of them they are good looking some of them they are not good looking some of them they have fake eyelashes and look sexy and some of them they have silicone pumped in their face those they will like them you can choose the one you sleep with her first and you can say to the other one bye bye see you later i'm busy right now it is halal only for the prophet right Okay, somebody saying to me, open your Skype. Okay, I will do your wish. Here we go. I hope he's a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, call me only. If you are not, please don't. <clears throat> okay, my Skype is open now. Any Muslim would like to call us, feel free to call us. Our Skype is open. What is that? So Muhammad is not a prophet. He's a fraud. A clear sign of a fraud is someone, he wants your money and he want to sleep with your wife. Do you know that even Muslims in their books, it says that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her? Yes. If the prophet, he is your wife, she is walking by, and he like he like her <coughs> you must divorce her immediately brother are we making things up i can show you right now right here the interpretation and if a muslim he can call us i can make you read it so our friend here this abdul who he said that isa he said there's a messenger will come after me. His name is Ahmed. Did Isa say too that this messenger is a womanizer? Did he say that he liked to have sexual relationship with the children? Did he say he liked to sleep with everyone? Did he say that he worshiped money? Did he say that he is a thief? Even the Muslims accuse him that he stole an underwear. Did he say that uh, this uh, Muhammad, he is going to be a fraud? Did he say that Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son and he flirted with the wife, the wife who is married to his own son? This is the messenger, the trustworthy, the attribute of Muhammad, Ahmed and Muhammad. What happened in the case? 
of Zayd and Zainab, the trustworthy Muhammad. Muhammad, he went to the house of his own adopted son because Muhammad, he cannot have children. So he adopted a son. And he announced that the son, whatever he earned, his son earned, and whatever name he carry, his son will carry. It was a promise made in front of everybody. And Muhammad, he married his son to a woman, her name is Zainab. And Zainab, according to Muslim books, she was beautiful. And when we say beautiful in the Arab language, we are talking about a woman, she is very white because they have obsession with white color. Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son wife and he saw her inside the house wearing sexy clothing. The decent prophet, he said to his own son wife, oh, do you love me? Do you, do you, do you love me? Do you, do you? And Zainab, she said, I do. Please take me, I do. I want to sleep with you. Like, what the heck? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is not good today. I have a little cold. This is the prophet. The prophet, the decent man, the trustworthy, the one who Allah, he sent him. He go to the house of his son and he flirt with the wife and then he forced the son to divorce his wife so he will take her. And not only that, when the son, he came to him after his wife, she told him, he told him, your father, he was here and he was a flirting with me. Yes, he was a flirting with me. The guy come to Muhammad, he says, uh, you know, prophet, I don't like this woman. I want to divorce her. Look at, the, look at the fraud, Muhammad. He said to him, oh, no, no, no. Keep your wife for you. Keep your wife for you. And then Muhammad, he made a verse. And this is the verse in front of us saying that Allah told him, why you are saying to Zaid, keep your wife? You see here, they are adding the free slaves, etc. This doesn't say that in Arabic. That's false translation. Why you say to Zaid, keep your wife for you when, when you hide what is inside you that you want the women and what Allah told you, what Allah told him, you will take her. This is God. God is telling a prophet it's okay to flirt with the women she is married and it's okay to sleep with the women and it's okay to have her and tell the husband next time he speak to you divorce her my friend someone want to call me okay my skype is open what i would do he have to give us his id so we can find him I would like to hear, especially people from Indonesia, especially if they are, if they claim to be Ustad. Until now, we did not see one Ustad, he dared to call me. That is very clear that they are not capable of answering any of those questions. They are good to sit in front of kids, teenage, and call them Ahmad and Hakam. Ahmad, stand up, Ahmad. Okay, uh, Ustad. Uh, Hakam, stand up, Hakam. And Hakam stand up, and that's the whole story. And then he, whatever he say, who is going to correct him? Who is going to get him busted? Nobody. You can say as you wish. You are talking to a bunch of kids. So who's going to convert you? My friend, how I can find this guy, Kamal Azmi? There is many Kamal Azmi in, in Skype. There's like 200. So how I will find which one? Give me your ID. ID is different from... There is no ID. It's called Kamal Azmi. No, this is not the ID. Click at your profile and you will find your real ID. Kamal Azmi is the name you type in the top. This is not the ID. Do we have any Muslim would like, and he is an Ustad?
Guys, before you tell me his ID is Kamal Azmi, if you search in your Skype, you will find a thousand Kamal Azmi. So this is not an ID. This is a wrong. This is a name he typed. The ID is different. The ID is a word written next to it, life, and then the rest. Here we go. One of the admin found him for us. Let us see. Maybe he is. We will see. Okay, Mr. Kamal Azmi, we just texted you. If you are the one there, please answer us. If this is the correct name. So as you see, the you know the fool people saying that they knew, but the fact they don't know anything. Let us see, Mr. Kamal. <clears throat> Yes, Mr. Kamal, how are you? You are live on air. Yes, I'm fine. So are you from Indonesia, Mr. Kamal? Yes. That's wonderful. What do you like to say to us, Mr. Kamal? Okay. Uh, before I tell you, um, I'm not speak English friendly. I don't speak English too. So trust me, I'm speaking right now uh, Chinese. Who cares? Don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. So what do you like to okay. say to us? Go ahead. Uh, I want to ask you two questions. Hmm. Two questions first at the same first. time, or uh, or first one? thing first. First, okay. Few times ago, you say that a Quran is not original, right? Not uh, fake like that. Hmm. Yeah, you uh, you show us the page A, page A. You remember? Right. Okay. Okay, page A, hmm. a Quran. Right. Uh, this is you say that. There's no Usman bin Affan there, okay? What? There's no Usman bin Affan? No, I said that this Quran is according to recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation. Okay, of. okay. Yeah. But you you say that this is not Usman bin Affan. Uh, no, no name Usman I'm saying bin Affan that this there, book, but this is clearly, no, 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 clearly no, no, Usman no, bin no. Affan and Zaid bin Thabit. Hmm. No, this is not what I said. Okay. You have a wrong understanding. Oh, the, the video yeah, is there, yeah. my friend. I the video is there. Video listen, 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 listen. First of all, Uthman ibn Affan is not the one who recited the Quran. Secondly, what I'm saying, that the book you have in the front of you right now, it's not the book of Uthman ibn Affan, because it says in that page, this is according to the recitation, correct? Uthman ibn Affan copied five al quran five no, this, is, this is another question this is another question does it say in that page page number a that this is according to the recitation okay okay it's a recitation so you don't have the book of uthman if you have the book of uthman you sh you say right away this is according to the book of uthman but you are counting people who they are 200 years after muhammad recitation so according to hafs ibn asim Ibn al Mughira, Ibn 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 Ibn, according to, according to, according okay. to, say, according to, according to, according to Muhammad, Ibn according Asim. to Jibreel, according to Allah. Asim. So, where is the book? Where is the book? You say Hafs Ibn Asim and Asim. Hafs. Yes, yes. Which Hafs? Hafs is not the fraud. Hafs what? Not the fraud. And he's not a liar. Okay, well, here we go. Let he's, us see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who said to you that Hafs is not a liar? Okay, this matruk, correct? Matruk Thank about you. hadith, okay. but not in Quran. So he is a fraud in the hadith, guys, but he is not a fraud in the Quran. <laughs> so yeah, how he can is, be? Is, so how okay, he can be a liar? Hold on. So you are saying to me that this guy has the one you have the Quran from. He lie when he say hadith. He is honest when he say Quran. No, not lie. He is not capable or. Uh, in hadith is not as good as in a Quran. Okay, if okay, I show you, you that know? it's if I show you that the Muslim they say he is a liar, what you will do? No, it's not this liar. I I have to. Uh, my, my, I have friend, to my friend, my friend, you say no, 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 it, no problem. Not, listen, 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 listen. Well, blah, 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 blah. Listen, listen, my friend. This is if not, I show you, you uh, see, I, I'm saying. Liar. Listen, what's your name? What's your name? Kamal Azmi. Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad or Kamal, your name. Kamal, Kamal. Kamal, okay. So, Mr. Remember Kamal, that. if I show you right now in your eyes that it says that he is Kadhab, he is a liar, what you would do? No, this is not Kadhab. Okay, if I show you, I'm going to it's, show you, it's not, I don't make things up. 
Here we go. وقال عبد الرحمن بن يوسف بن خراش كذاب متروك متروك يضع الحديث. Do you see it in the screen? I don't see the screen. Why you don't see the screen? Everybody see the screen. I just call you in audio. No problem. But it says in front of me. وقال عبد الرحمن بن يوسف بن خراش. And he is not the only one. Let us read. Okay. Let's read more. وقال أبو أحمد بن عدي عن الساجي عن أحمد عن محمد البغدادي عن 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 وكان وكان حفص أقرأ من أبي بكر وكان كذابا and he was a liar if حفص is كذابا or if he is a liar the top علماء like ابن كثير or al Qurtubi He's already reject the Al Quran, but but they not reject it. So my friend, my friend, why? listen, listen, listen. You said to Where me, is you said counts? to me, you said to me that the Hadith of Hafs is matruk. Explain that to us. You said matruk, right? Okay, matruk because he is not capable as good as uh, his writing for uh, from Quran. What so, what does that mean? What is not capable? So why he is saying things he is not sure from? Is he lying or he is because as long his Hadith is matruk. No, no, no. He must uh, learn more about hadith. But in Quran, he is very capable. Uh, okay. And, no, uh, no, 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 no. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says here, ولا يكتب حديثه وحديثه كلها مناكير. You know what manakir mean? No. Ugly and and and, and facid, which means it's a fraud. Not only that, does the Muslim they say that he was a thief too? Oh, I don't believe that. Well, it's in the front. Okay, but hold on, hold on. Okay, وقال النسائي ليس بثقة ولا يكتب حديثه. Do you know what ثقة mean? He is no, not no. trustworthy. And then why? He then is not why? trustworthy. Then why Ibn Kathir and Al Qurtubi? Listen, 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 is listen. Not he is not. He is not. Him. Okay, oh, let, let me ask you. Do you do you trust Ibn Kathir? What? Do you trust Ibn Kathir? Yeah, of course. Okay. Guys, he said, our friend here, Kamal, he said he trusts Ibn Kathir. That's wonderful. I will go to Ibn Kathir, and I want you to look with me in the screen if you can, please. Here well, we go. I, this I, is your Ibn Kathir. No, no, don't, don't, change your, don't change, don't change, please, because I, I'm going with you. You see, I'm driving with you. You are a person who is taking okay. the car now. You are be behind the steering, and I will walk with you wherever you go. You said you trust Ibn Kathir, and you said that this Quran from Hafs is a trustworthy. Okay. The Quran of Hamhaf says, which is a trustworthy for you, according to Ibn Kathir, that women, they have a sperm and the sperm is coming from their ribs and the man have a sperm which is coming from the backbone. Do you accept the Quran of Hafs, which is saying such a thing, which is accepted by Ibn Kathir? Yes or no? If, if Ibn Kathir accept, I do this. Okay, so, that, so you so. accept, you accept that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. Okay, but this is stupid. Nobody in the world agree with this. This is the most stupid thing to agree with. So, how a smart person? What is a school? Did you did you finish school, my friend? Did you oh, go yeah, to school? Okay, in school they teach you that the sperm is coming from the backbone. Okay, but in Islam. My friend, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't tell me in Islam. Don't tell me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In, listen, listen. I want an answer. So, so in the school, in the school, did they teach you that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone? Yes or no? According school, no. Okay. This is so which one is science, correct? No. According to the if, school, okay. Hold on. And so which one? Which one is it? Which one is telling we the truth? We have to learn more about science. No problem. We, we learn more about science according to science. You just said according to school. No, this is science. So you just said everybody heard you. According to science, this is a lie. According to the Quran, this is the truth. So which one is the truth? The science or your Quran? Science more science have to learn more because a Quran is from God, but mm. science is learned by human. Ah, okay, let me ask you: uh, Are you married? Not yet. Okay, one day you will find out. I hope not in the hard way. According to the Quran, that women she have sperm and it's coming from the location of the necklace of her chest. Do you agree with that? That women she have a sperm 
and the sperm is coming from the top of her ribs the location exactly of the necklace Okay, whatever what do you mean whatever my second do you, do you question. agree with that okay, let's, let's agree? Let's no no don't don't change the topic my friend question. don't change the topic because how now we found that either Hafs was a fraud or Muhammad was a fraud you have to choose one because both those things are lying they are not true women first of all they don't have a sperm they never have a sperm they don't produce a sperm only men have secondly women chest have nothing to do with this number three the baby is not coming from the chest of the women the women she have an egg and the egg is not in her chest women they don't have a breast testicles secondly man his sperm is not coming from the backbone so how this is can be God okay we just destroyed we all of Islam we are creation. done with Islam okay. Islam we, is we over now you see you, the, how about surah al alaq al -Al thank you guys did he say al alaq did he say al alaq what, yes. al what about al alaq Go, tell me what about it because we create from uh, <laughs> sperm mm. and and I'm sorry, uh, my English is not good. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> and blood mm. and then blood in forty the second forty days mm. is blood and then mm. the third forty days is uh, meat and like that. You you forty you have days, to forty days, forty days. How many forty days we have? Okay, how many forty days in the process? Oh, I don't know so well, but okay. Um, your prophet, he said the three, is, three forty days total is one hundred twenty days. Have you ever heard of a baby created but, in one hundred twenty days? I know, but I know that my friend, you are the one. My friend, a, hold on, hold on. Okay, you are the one who say. said to me. You are the one who said to me the chapter of Allah. Let us go and read the interpretation, and everybody will die laughing. According to your Quran, the sperm will transform into dead blood. Do you agree with that? Okay, just a minute, just a minute. Uh, searching Al Alaq. Just a minute. Mm. Al Alaq is, is Quran chapter number. My friend, I'm going to give you a link. I'm going to give you a link. You open it and you read that will save you time. You see, just to help you. All right, if you don't mind. Here we go. Open the link and read with me. It says in the front of me, I will read for you. We made the nutfa into a clot, meaning we made the nutfa, which is the water gushing for that come from the lines of the man in his back and the ribs of the woman, i.e. the bones of her chest uh, bet between the uh, uh, clavicle and the breast. <laughs> between the clavicle and the breast. Then it became a red blood. So according to your God, the sperm become a red blood which is a congealed blood which is a dead blood how that can be hello I'm waiting for you. I just, you know, I'm asking you how that can be. This is this is very wrong. You see, what kind of God? He says that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs, as you see, and the location of the necklace specifically, and the man have a sperm, and both of them they will turn to be a, a blood, dead blood, congealed blood. No, I I say that the sperm and then the blood and then meat. This is the proven by sin. Science. This is proven by, science? by science. Okay, by science that the woman she have a sperm coming from her ribs, and that became a dead blood. The sperm of the man and the sperm of oh, the woman uh, they will know. transform into dead that. blood. This is what you are saying to me, and this is proven by science. Actually, the second question. Actually, the second. Why question, you are jumping the first question? question. We did not finish the first effort. question. Just wait. I will give you a chance. We are here. We have time. The bus is not coming. Just wait. You are not going to go anywhere, my friend. Just take time. So look at this. You are the one who quote for me this verse to prove to me that this is God. But this God cannot be God. Even a kid, he is in the sixth grade. He will not say such a stupid thing, because the sperm of the man will not transform into anything. 
the sperm of the man go inside the egg of the woman and do fertilizing and then it disappeared at the DNA delivered the DNA message and fertilize the egg and that's it and then the egg will grow so according to your God no the nutfa is going to grow and will become a blood that's stupid this is literally stupid and then the blood will became a clot and then it became a, a, a lump of a flesh and then we made the lump of flesh of bones and then we close the bones with the flesh this is madness this is not what Quran say this is not what, what science says what do you say about the, this mistake in the Quran a huge mistake no no the science must learn more the science must learn okay more. guys uh, take take okay. this uh, statement please from now on when a Muslim he speak to us we should say the science should learn more <laughs> okay. my, like second you, question, my second question my second okay I like you mr. Kamala but until okay. now we prove and you are a witness that Islam not only a false it's a fraud thank you what is the second question <clears throat> my second question is uh, you say about Quran surah and Noor Hmm. 24 okay uh first 33 okay about uh muhammad is to legalize the prostitute hmm. correct right ah this in the end of ayah hmm. in the end of first hmm. allah is will give the mercy to to she who is forced not the subject but the object of the prostitution who is he is forced not by herself mm, okay let me ask you okay why allah did not say in the verse you're lying okay let you, us see if i'm say, lying or not no, hold, say, on, hold on hold on hold on does it say does it say force not your girls into prostitution does it say that what, what? does it say in the verse force not your girls into into the prostitution which mean you have to make yeah. them agree in Arudna Tahasun if if they like not to be prostitute, correct? Does it say that in the verse or not? Yes. Okay, so he, what if the girl if she like to be a prostitute? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He but, just said yes. But she is he, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. He said he said the, the, here he's talking about two things. First, not your girls to do prostitution if they wish not to do prostitution and if you force them allah is all merciful so allah saying if she agree to do prostitution it's fine force them not to do prostitution if they wish which means the if is a no, condition no, no, of no. the wishing yes it the says that it's not like that not like that the transit is okay who, can you read for me force them no, that, that, that so force, really, the force is the second is option. Listen, the it's in the front of us. The it is in the front. It's in the front of us. Read it. Go ahead. I'm listening. In the end of the ayah. No, not in the end of the ayah. Start Who here. Is, no, no, don't, don't, don't jump. Don't jump. It says and force them not. Force not your maid, your slaves, into prostitution if they desire chastity. Does it say that? This is a woman as a victim, okay? What victim? Those are our slaves. If Those are your slaves. Those are the women you capture from their husband and you are raping them. What victims? They are your victims. And now the Muslim, they start using them for business. Every Muslim became a pimp in the time of Muhammad. The women, the wives of the men, they start complaining. Things became messed up. The whole city became a pimp house. So Muhammad, he had to fix it, but he cannot because he is one of them. So he said, force not your maid into prostitution if they desire a chastity, which means Muhammad he legalized prostitution because of the women she desire prostitution. No, no. My, my friend, does it say, if they, listen, listen, don't lie. Does it say if they desire chastity? Yes or no? Does it say that? What? Does it say what? in the verse, force them not if they desire a chastity? Does it say that? Uh, so sorry, uh, my English is not. I don't care good. if your English, 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 English is not English working now. Listen, what, who care about now? You know what I'm talking about. It says in the verse, force them not if if there's a condition. If what? If they don't want to be prostitute, which means if she wants to be prostitute, Allah is fine with it. Oh no no, 
Not not like that. Okay, the let us do this. Let us do this. Like show me one verse in the Quran. Show me one verse in the Quran. It says that slave girls they cannot do prostitution. Beside this one, you cannot find this verse saying listen, you can listen, you listen. can do prostitution, but without forcing and, your girls. And force them, force them not. And not only that, actually, Allah, slave Allah slave is not okay. What is the punishment? Okay, hold on, hold on. What is the punishment for someone who forced his slaves? Listen, Abdul, listen. What is the punishment for someone forcing his slave into prostitution? Okay, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to Don't me, I want an answer. There is no, you the agree, then you agree that there's no punishment okay. if you force your, 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 your slave into prostitution, right? There's no punishment. So it's not forbidden because what is forbidden is what there is a punishment. As long as there's no punishment, it's mean Allah will forgive them. That's it. Allah will not do anything to the Muslims who did that. And you said Allah will forgive them for they are victims. Okay, that's good. But that's mean that it's okay. First them not, Allah will forgive them if you do that. But where is the punishment? And here it says, if they desire chastity, which means you ask them, do you like to work a prostitute? If they like, she like it, then everything is good. If she don't like it, still is good because at the end of the day, Allah will forgive them and there's no punishment for you if you do that. Can you show me where in the Quran it says if you do prostitution, you will be punished? Allah will forgive the victim of the... No problem. I don't care. The listen, to the, listen to the question now. The guy, That's he forced a girl. Your, this is not the, this is not the question. Yeah, say that. Come on. This is this not is the no question. Problem. This is not the question. If you do prostitution. You are, your no, name no, is Kamal. Like your name is Kamal. And you force not a girl like into prostitution. What is the punishment according to this verse? What? Your name is Kamal and you forced a girl into prostitution. What is your punishment according to this verse? No punishment. Right? If I force the girl prostitute. Yeah. This is... Uh, I will... I will... Have the punishment. Wait, what is the punishment? I, show I will me. Have what punishment. is the punishment? But the girl is not. Okay. What is the punishment? Okay, can you show me the punishment? The punishment. This is like. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> what is the punishment? It says. Is it says as uh, you know. He says here, and force not your maids. Those, by the way, they are slaves, captives, into prostitution if they desire chastity. Which means Muhammad saying, if they desire chastity, force them not. If they desire to prostitute them, it's okay. Isn't it obvious? And then there is no punishment. Because at the end of the day, Allah is all forgiven. You say Allah is forgiving them only, those the women who they are forced on prostitution. No problem. But still, there is no, no punishment for the Muslims. Can you name for me when Muslim was punished for doing prostitution? Hello. This is hard to say in English. Ah, so, uh, it's English difficulty, brother. If it's you right. want to debate face to face with me, I don't debate face to face. I debate ass to ass. What face to face? Aren't you why, face to why, face to me? Why? Aren't you face to face to me now? What does that face to face mean? So, in face and fa face to face, your English will be improved, and now your English is not working because you are not face to face. Turn your ass to me, no problem. What does that mean? Are you an adult or you are a kid? Or if we face to face. Okay, with with translator, with translator, this is ah, with translator, we need a translator. You understand me very well. You understand me very well. Stop playing a game and saying I do not know what to say. Okay, I will ask you. Where are you when you and Nadir Ahmed is debating? Nadir, uh, Nadir Ahmed he agreed that your prophet have sex with the goat. Do you know that? Okay, answer me, answer me. I just told Where you. Where are you? I just told you. you and Nadir Ahmed in the internet. In, in the in the internet, and he agreed that your prophet he have a sexual intercourse with an animal. He said, which one is better, the one who have sexual intercourse or the one who smashed the head of the baby? You can go and listen to the the the, the, the recording. So Nadir Ahmed he agreed that your prophet have relationship. He was in love with a goat. What do you say to Nadir Ahmed about killing Jews? No, no, no. About killing nine nine hundred Jews. You and Nadir Ahmed debating, okay? But when, where are you? Why you turn off your phone? Are you afraid? But Nadir Ahmed and phone. Abdul, what are you talking about? Who does this guy? Nadir Ahmed, you don't even know how to, to say your prophet name correctly. Give me, give me the recording so we can play it.
We're turning your phone off. <laughs> My phone is on all the time, and here we go. You are here, and now that Ahmad is a potato, he don't. This guy have a mental illness. Do you know that? Okay. Do you remember when? Okay, you I'm asking you. Do you agree? Listen, listen. As long as you are mentioning this name, uh, do you agree? Do you agree? No, I don't. I don't remember anything because I. I don't remember anything because oh, I spoke okay. to I thousands and link. thousands of Abdul, and this guy Nader Ahmad is just a kid. He is not a man even. I'm asking you, do you agree with him when he said that it's okay for the prophet to have sexual intercourse with a goat? Say yes. Say yes and be my hero. You are the one who named him for okay. me. Why well, you are when, quiet? When you talk about 900 Jews killing by Muhammad, you say, hmm. and then he answered it. How he answered it? Why you turn off the phone? Okay, what, what, what is the answer? Give me the answer. Remind me of the answer. I do not remember actually, but I know. But that how you come you remember that phone? I turn off the phone? Are you an idiot or what? Can you give me the answer? Here we go. Or can you play for me the video? Play it for play it right now, so everybody will laugh. Can you do that? Hello. <laughs> he hang up. <laughs> <laughs> At least give me a name of someone you know anything. This guy is an is an official kid. I don't even I don't even approve him to call me. He's he's having mental illness. Who is next? So look what happened. We showed him how stupid the Quran is scientifically. We showed him how stupid it is in ethic. This is this is a very bad ethic book. What kind of religion approve a prostitution? Saying force not your maid into prostitution if it's a condition. So if the girl she desire not a chastity, it's okay. Open Thailand bar. It's halal. This is the message of God. The message of God is says you can have and you can rape women and you can use them for prostitution. This is what we are doing. Just uh, I remember yesterday somebody from Indonesia, he is a Muslim, he left Islam obviously, and he is debating with his father. And he told his father that the prophet used to drink wine every day. The prophet, uh, the, the, his father, he said, this is Islamophobe stories, Islamophobe. My friend, even the Quran says this. The Quran claim that alcohol is a miracle of Allah. And it's good. Do you see it? This is Muhammad before he forbid the wine and the alcohol because at that time he was able to drink when Muhammad was dying he forbid it because he cannot drink it Muhammad died by poison as you know and since the time he he took the poison he vomit anything he drank so Muhammad in the beginning of his life he was saying that it's a miracle of Allah to be drunk <laughs> brother and sister Today, our topic is about the miracle of alcohol. Alcohol, brother, is the miracle of Allah. <laughs> brother, it's a sign of Allah, brother, as alcohol. Look at the person. He drink alcohol and he go crazy. <laughs> he go crazy. It's a sign of Allah, brother. What? It's a sign of of wisdom this is a sign of people who have wisdom if you don't like this translation we can change it for you this is a halali khan let us uh, go to a different one which one you want which one you, 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 you can come to daddy which one yusuf ali it's a sign it is a sign even alcohol making us drunk is a miracle from Allah. In different verse in the Quran, Muhammad the madman, he said that uh, 
Alcohol is from Shaitan. <laughs> so how Shaitan is the source of alcohol, but in the other verse, the alcohol is from Allah and it's a sign. And how alcohol is from Shaitan and yet Allah, he promised you a lot of it in heaven. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? May they, may they. We accept all Muslims, all sizes, small, big, with beard, without beard. With a stick, without a stick. You call yourself Ustaz, you call yourself a professor, you call yourself Sheikh, I don't care. Here you are no one. Call me and let us see. Who want to do it? May they, may they. An Ustaz is needed. A serious Ustaz is needed. We need an Ustad with the beard like this. Look at this, look. Like, look, like Prophet Muhammad. And look his eyes like, yeah, that must be true, brother. I mean, we grow a little beard, and then we say a bunch of trash to the people, and those kids, whatever we say to them, and we hold the microphone, and now I call myself Ustad, and then I to go to work, because now I make money from those poor people. You are an Ustad? Are you sure? And the funny, they named the video, do Christian Prince knew that? No, I don't know that. Christian Prince, he knew nothing. I just learned from Allah that the sperm is coming from my backbone. That's why I'm holding it right now. You don't want to, you want to drop, imagine you go to the uh, somewhere and you drop your backbone. I mean, that's it. Your future is gone. You cannot have babies no more. What if somebody kick your ass and break your backbone? That's it. You cannot have a sperm no more. This is knowledge, brother. This is knowledge. Who is next? Hmm? Who is next? Of those who follow God, who believe that the nutfa became a blood. And the nutfa is coming from the location of the ribs and the necklace of the women and the backbone of the man. My friend, I'm challenging the Indonesian Ustad, don't you see? Shall I make it a song? I challenge all the Ustad in Indonesia, in Malaysia. I challenge you. I challenge all the Ustad in Bangladesh, in India. I challenge you. Backbone, backbone, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, backbone, backbone? Brother, the sperm is coming from the backbone. So what the testicles for? A decoration, a Christmas light? So why we have them there? What we do with them? Is that because it helps us to swim and float? Look like this God, he never heard of something called testicles. If the sperm is coming from the backbone, the testicles is for what, brother? To make hummus with it? Is it a mixer machine? And let me guess, it makes espresso from Starbucks. I mean, this is deep. This is God, that's it, I found God. I was looking always for God. I could not find him. Now I found God. It's here. Anyone? And look at this. Allah, he claimed that he is the best of the creators. <laughs> Are you sure? How you Muslim you say to us? That Allah is the only God and He is the only creator, and then Allah Himself He says He is the best of the creators. <laughs> Who is number two? <laughs> oh boy. By the way, guys, I will I, I will tell you that I'm a creator too. Let me create something for you. Allah is the best of the creators. 
Who are they, the creators? By the way, guys, I will tell you a secret. This is just between you and me, like 2,000 people listening, and you and YouTube and Facebook, but between us, keep it between us, please. Uh, I was number one student in my classroom. Yeah, number one. Uh, but what I did not tell you, I was the only student in that classroom. I mean, how stupid it is to say he is the best of the creators if there's no creators beside him. That's mean Allah is a fraud because he is saying to us he is the best of the creators, but there's no creators. How that can be? Yeah, the principal, he put me in a classroom, have no teachers, have no student as a punishment for me. Because I was a very uh, good boy. The teachers, when they come to the classroom, they say, who is this uh, kid? Where are you? Where are you? Listen, kid, I'm not like the others, okay? Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was the best of the students, brother. Because I was the only one in the classroom. There's no even teacher there. And Allah is the same. He's the best of the creators. Who are they, the rest of the creators? Either this is an exaggeration statement, which make it a stupid statement, or it's a true statement. Then we have to find the rest of the creators, which means there's many gods. The Muslims, in order to solve this problem, they say, Oh, this is about uh, like you know somebody created a phone. So this phone is not this phone is an invention. Creation in the mean of religion is about giving life, and actually, even the verse in the front of you it says that. This is what Allah is proud about. He's proud about how he make the baby, which is very stupid and it's wrong. And look at this. Muhammad, he said, the creation of anyone is gathered for 40 days in the mother's stomach. I was in my mother's stomach. This is science. I was wondering when I was a sperm, why I always have a good food. Ah, because I was eating shish kebab at that time. I was in the stomach of my mother. And then, brother, I became a clot. If you don't believe me, I can show you a selfie for the same period of time, 40 days. So I am in the mother as a sperm for 40 days. 40 days as a sperm. Are you sure, Muhammad? Have you ever heard of such a science before? Read with me. <clears throat> the Prophet of Allah said, Please stand up. The Prophet is talking. Come on, show respect. When a drop of semen remains in the stomach for 40, or the Prophet is honest here, you see, he's not sure really about the number 40, 50 days, it's like that 40, 50, maybe 42, 45. <laughs> According to science, my friend, sperm can live maximum of five days. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a fraud? I think we have a Muslim here. Let us see. All right, we have a Muslim. He's asking for permission to call. <laughs> Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on here. What do you want to say to us? What's your name first, please? Yeah, uh, my name will be Anonymous. <laughs> anonymous, okay, I like Anonymous. Okay, uh, good evening, sir. My, my good evening, my friend. Good morning here. Go ahead. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, good morning. 
Uh, so, okay, okay. safety and peace be upon all YouTube viewers. And uh, okay, so uh, this is actually a request for my friend mm. to call you. Hello, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, a uh, uh, request uh, from my friend to call you. Actually, I was uh, in conversation with her regarding uh, the divinity of Jesus. All right. So we spoke a lot of things. We spoke a lot of things and we had a lot of arguments. So um, then I came across it. It could be a conversation. Well, if you have many applications, uh, uh, my, my, friend, my friend, before so, you continue, if you have many yeah. applications closed so, because your internet is weak, I can tell and I'm losing you sometime. So if you have other things open, please close them. And now you can okay. go ahead and speak. Okay, I'll close my okay. So you can you hear about, me now? Yeah, I, you spoke about the divinity of Jesus and you have argument and? Yeah, I had argument with her, so then I think I cannot hear and, uh, I cannot understand. Dad can, can you hear me now? I hear you, but it's cutting off again. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, then I came across a particular verse from the Bible. Hmm. And uh, and that can actually uh, disprove the divinity of Jesus. Hmm. So, so the Bible, okay. and she she had no answer to that. All right. So she told to us. So she told us you. Okay. So you are saying. So I want to know what let, your let, let answer me, let, 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 that. let me ask you. So one verse yeah. in the Bible proved that Jesus is not God. Yeah. Okay. So I I'll read that verse. Okay. What chapter? What uh, what book? What chapter? What yeah. verse? Okay. Okay. Um. Before that. Before that. Uh. Give me, give me uh sorry, you give speak me, uh, Arabic, give, right? Give me the verse. Sorry, you my friend, don't change. Don't don't waste my time. Give me the verse. Okay, so it's in uh, Matthew twenty-seven forty-six, and uh, I, okay, I'll read that. And I wrote the ninth hour. Jesus you said, cried with you a said loud twenty-seven. Voice. Hold on, you said twenty-seven. What? Can you hear me? Yes, you said twenty-seven. What? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven forty-six. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so I'll read the verse. And uh, and about the night, where Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Hmm. And? Okay, so I asked her, so I asked her this question. If Jesus is God, how can he call to another God and ask, why have you forsaken me? All right. And she had no because, answer. My friend, I would answer okay, you. This is so because of your ignorance. Let's because, okay, because, let's hear it from because, you. because of your ignorance, this is a, a quotation from the book of Psalm, chapter 22. Where, yeah, in, the, in that book, yeah, so Jesus is quoting the prophecy about yeah. him. There's a prophecy about him, he is not saying, mm -hmm. My God, my God, he is quoting what is being said that now, and this is why he said at the end, It's completed, it's done, it's perfected. So now, the prophecy about Jesus, the one which is mentioned in the books. It is fulfilled. So if you go to Psalm chapter 22, it says, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? This is a quotation. Oh my God, I cry in the day time. Oh my God. So all here is speaking about what will happen to Jesus. So Jesus is saying to us, This is what is being said about the one who is going to be crucified. And as long as you are a person, who believe that Matthew chapter 27 is teaching the truth. Do you believe in Matthew chapter 27 or do you believe only in this verse? What's that? You believe in Matthew chapter 27 or you believe only in this verse? Uh, before I answer that, can I uh, get back to the same verse and say no something problem, about no it? I'm, I'm answering you still. Am I allowed I to do you, that? Are you, are you asking just a question or you don't believe anyway, whatever I say to you? So do you only believe in that verse? Or you believe in the chapter, all of it? No, uh, as per my view of the Bible, uh, I can't believe all the I don't, things. I don't understand. But, repeat, uh, repeat again. Hold on. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I understand. 
uh, do you I'm, I'm i'm saying do you believe in that chapter only or only this verse is something you like no uh, yeah i told you my opinion of bible i cannot uh, agree on all the things okay so my friend the, the bible, bible the bible is a, the, bible, there, the bible the bible is a book something are there that i can no agree problem, on. no problem so the bible is a book and the book all of it saying including the chapter you are reading from that jesus was a crucified because he came to be god so if you are honest, you yeah. should accept that the whole thing there, the whole story is speaking about Jesus being crucified, for he made himself equal to God. So how come you remember only this verse, and this is the only verse will make you believe that Jesus is not God? Secondly, as long the one who says, oh my God, God, then how Allah himself cannot be God? Because Allah himself, he speak about a God, which is not him always. Isn't it Allah, he says, it is Allah who created the whole world? Who is talking? It is uh, Allah describing about himself. Okay, so how come there you don't say that he is describing about himself? How Allah can speak about himself as a third person? Because that's the art of... It is what? It is what? They speak about themselves. It is it's what? This is how they speak about themselves? So how how you are the one is talking yet you are talking about yourself as a third person, but you are the one who talking. My friend, why why Allah why Allah? Okay, hold on. Why Allah? Why Allah? Saying as an example, as an example, all the verses in the Quran with no exception. It says that the, the Quran is speaking as if somebody is speaking about someone. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. So if Allah is talking, no, it, should yeah, say, it's, 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 if, uh, if Allah is talking, should I say Christian Prince is not ashamed to say, okay, I am a Christian Prince. Why I need to say he, Christian Prince, he is not ashamed to say. I am a Christian Prince. So it is he, Allah, that Allah is talking. So based in your logic, yeah. based in your logic, God shall not uh, speak about himself by saying my God or the God, for he cannot speak no. about himself in any way. <laughs> Secondly, we answer you. This no. is a quotation. Jesus is quoting from an Old Testament about prophets, what they said. And this is exactly what happened to him in the cross. So you are trying to manipulate the meaning. No, no, sir. With you. No, sir, no, sir. Okay, it, it says my God. Let me ask you, first like of all, first, okay, how let me can, ask you. How, how, can, how can a God say my God? It's, uh, okay, it I just give you, I just gave you an example. First of all, he is quoting. Secondly, your God, he keeps yeah. saying my God. No, sir. So, okay, I ask you how Shaman Allah, is in how, prayer. okay, how sir, Allah, sir, how Allah, he speak about a God. How Allah, he Shaman. speak about a God. You say it? is the prayer prayer given to David, Prophet David. So he's quoting him. He's quoting David. Is David who's saying yeah. that? So, it is David who is saying actually, that. If I prayer. quote, my friend, can, I, if I quote, okay, David let me let me quote for you. If I quote the Quran, chapter two, verse number eighty-three, and now I am quoting it. Is it me who's saying it, or I'm quoting? You're quoting it. Okay, so it's not me. So Jesus saying that, okay, I'm going to read for you what is going to remind you about things mentioned, about things will happen oh, no. to the Christ. Oh. My friend, it's oh, not it's up to you. Prayer. Listen, listen, listen. You are, you, are being, you, are being, you are being hypocrite. You are being hypocrite. You are being, you are being hypocrite. Let me tell you why. Because when you debate people about their belief, it is our belief. You don't tell me no. You don't tell me no, this is my belief. So now you are telling me no, 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 no. You don't believe in that. So you have you are not honest man. This is my belief. So you are trying to make me believe in something else, which is not what we believe in. At the end of the day, it's what we believe. This is a Christianity. It's not up to you to say, Oh no, 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 no. Our salad is different. This is my book, this is my belief, and this is what I believe. So you don't tell me no, no, okay. no, no. So I yes, give you the answer. I give you the answer. I give you I give you the answer. I I the answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now Allah, when He say He is the best of the creators, who is uh -huh. the other creators? 
He is the best of the deal. Even I can be a creator. No, you are not. No, you are not. You say you are, you are lying. Here we go. Yeah, but you I'm, are, but, no, but I'm not the no, best. No, you cannot. No, I'm not you, the best. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. The Quran says that the creator is the only one, at least he can create a fly. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. it's, it's so, you be a so, you cannot, so you cannot be a creator. So you cannot. someone. So you cannot be a creator. Can you create a fly? Me? Yeah. No, I cannot. Okay. Fly, so tell me. So don't, so don't lie and say I can be a creator. So don't lie and say I can be a creator because your God, He would definition for a creator. Creator is someone He give life, not someone He make a TV. TV is an invention, not a creation. We are talking about religion. Stop stop deceiving yourself. So the Quran in chapter 23, verse number 73 says that all oh mankind, you cannot even create a fly. Why you are worshipping someone who cannot create a fly? Yeah. So the one who can create a fly is yeah, God. Exactly. Now, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. So how Allah says he is the best of the creators if there's no other ones can create a fly? Go ahead. So creator means something which you can, if you see the definition, it means uh, something which we create. My friend, I, I can create an artificial. No, you cannot. I just system. told you. I just gave you the definition. Up. We yeah, are we talking about religion. We are anything. not talking yeah. about industry. Stop being a fool. You are fooling yourself, not fooling us. This is about the creation and giving a life. When you say a creator, you, you compare yourself to who? Are you saying to me, Allah comparing himself to someone who created a bicycle? And Allah saying my bicycle is better than his bicycle right. because if we are doing that, that's mean Allah he is comparing the same thing. He have to compare the same product. That's mean Allah have a bicycle he created, and you have a bicycle you created. And Allah saying my bicycle is better than his bicycle. When we yeah. when, when yeah. we compare, I, when I we can compare create a, a humanoid robot. Listen, okay, but it won't be the best thing. So God says I am the best of the creators because. No thing can create a such an intelligent system as a human being. Okay, thank you very much. No one can create okay. such a human being. So now you just confirm yeah. that when he say the best of the creators, he's talking about creating a human being. Uh -huh. So how he can be the best to create a human being? So, uh, like I said, uh, I can create something, for example, a robot. No, but, uh, stop, stop lying. You just said, you just said, you just said, everybody is laughing yeah. at you. Everybody is laughing at you. You yourself, you just said that you can, uh, Allah saying he is the best to create a human being. So Allah, when he compare yeah. himself, he have to compare himself with the same product. I create, he create, Allah create a human being, I create a human being, Allah says I make my creation is better than Christian no. Prince. You cannot compare your creation of bicycle with creation of a human being. That is a strip. No, I, I, no. <laughs> I, I, I compare myself okay, to a robot, care, human take care, robot. Take care, you are just a kid, you are, you are argue, and obviously you get busted. When Allah he says he is the best of the creators, that is a stupid mistake. And now here you see, so blessed is Allah. How Allah he says so blessed is Allah. How you can bless Allah? How Allah is a blessing Allah? How Allah is a blessing Allah. If we go to the interpretation, we will find that this is a phrase was made by Abdullah ibn Sarh. And he left Islam because he made the sentence and Muhammad he liked it, he put it in the Quran. And when he put it in the Quran, Abdullah ibn Sarah, who was the, ins the inscribe of the Prophet, he said to himself, obviously Muhammad is a false prophet. This is my verse. This is my sentence. Muhammad was reciting and he was making Quran. And then the guy, he liked what Muhammad said. So he said, Allahu ahsanul khaliqeen. So blessed be Allah. The best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, put it there. The guy, he said, but what? He said this. He said, but it's me who said that. He said, it's the same inspired to me too. So the guy, he left Islam and you can search the interpretation about this verse. That is the story, my friend. Muhammad is a fraud. He took the verse from this guy and he put it and he make it as Quran. <laughs> this is God. This is God words. This is this is a word from God. He take it from the guy and he put it in his Quran.
And look here, this is Al Qurtubi. Yes, Mr. Anonymous. <laughs> is, it, is it true that this verse is is made by a guy? His name is Abdullah ibn Sarh. What's that? Is that a true that this verse is made by a guy? He was the inscribed Which of your prophet. Which was blessed is Allah, the best of the creators. Is that from Muhammad yeah. or it yeah. is from a guy? Uh, it was revealed by uh, Gabriel, so it was brought by brought down from Gabriel. So but the interpretation, so but the interpretation, but the, saying but the interpretation saying that this is a theft, a theft of a, uh, uh, from a man. His name is Abdullah ibn Sarah. Muhammad. He took it from him, and he did add it in the Quran and the stories in your book. Yes or no? No, I, I don't believe that because uh, okay. what if we show you what if we show you my friend? I don't care if you believe right here, here we, we here we give a proofs and reference. What if I show you the reference? Yeah, it could be a wrong reference. Oh you know? wrong reference. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Why why it is wrong? Yeah. Why you Muslims why you Muslims are making are you saying you Muslims you lie about your prophet? No, no, there are there are two types of hadith. One is Sahih and one is Lawi. Ah, so there are so there, Quran. You are saying to me, Quran is not a trustworthy religion. There's 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 Islam, no, 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 the no. correct Islam, and no, there's no, the false I, Islam. I'm not denying Quran. I'm just uh, denying hadith. Hadith could be wrong or right. Okay, you said you deny Quran. You do not deny the Quran. You deny I, the hadith. Okay, I yeah, ask, I don't I deny, ask, I don't deny I Quran, ask no. a friend of you before you call me. About how Allah described the creation of the baby, He claimed that the sperm yeah. of the man is coming from the backbone, and the sperm of the woman is coming from the location of the uh -huh. necklace in her ribs. Do you agree with the Quran? Uh, sir, actually, we have discussed about that earlier, but you didn't disconnect. Why? My why, why? Why? We are trying to. to the, whole, the whole purpose of our discussion is if Islam is from God or not. If this is a false god, he will give false teaching. So why are you are running away? What kind of God he teach you that a sperm of a man can? No, no, this is, this is no. It, it says that uh, it, 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 man was created from my in a worthless water which proceeds from backbone and ribs. Okay, and yeah. So, so when you see a man from the top view, you can see that actually the it, sperm it 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 comes from the region between the backbone and the ribs. That's what God said. Well, this is according to who? This is according. No, to if you read the Quran, you can understand it very well. Okay, you can understand it very well. It, it, it says it says that yeah. it's a gushing forth water. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the gushing forth water will make the baby created? Gushing forth coming outside of the sure. water. Yeah, sperm, sperm. When you, it's really, it, it, it's actually getting ejaculated. So, all right, it's so actually the, like. So you are forth. saying now, according to you, that the women she have ejaculation, and that will make the baby. Is that a true? No, I be, uh, no, not woman ejaculating, man ejaculation, sperm. So, That's are you saying? Okay, hold on, guys. Are you saying, according to Islam, that the ejaculation of the <laughs> man will make the baby? No, no, no. <laughs> Whatever I say, you say no, 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 my friend. Womb, it then, is a gashing. Is it, no, baby. no. It says gashing forth fluid coming from yeah. between the so, backbone and the ribs. What is the yeah, gashing fluid? Okay, what is the gashing fluid? What is that? <clears throat> it is foam. It's what? Semen. Semen. Thank you. So it's semen. semen, semen okay. Foam. All right. And yeah. this, okay, the semen is coming from the ribs. No, no, no. <laughs> semen is coming from the penis. So when you see the man, human being from the top view, you ah, can see that actually the sperm when you see the man, when you see the man, when you see guys, and the ribs. when you see guys, when you see the man, you see him from the top to the bottom. I mean, this is funny. Who who told you that? According, this is interpretation according to who? Give me the name of the scholar. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, you are making things up. You are, so it's you are it's, my friend. It's understandable. Let, let me know. No, no, it's not. You understand me wrong. If you, if you want to prove a point, and I want to respect you for proving it, 
Can you name, give me the yeah, scholar yeah. name who says that to you, or you are the first Muslim in the world who believe in such a thing? <laughs> this was actually my interpretation. That I, 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 your I interpretation. You are a stud then. You are a Guys, here we go. We have a stud now. You are talking. This is his interpretation. Is your name is Ibn Kathir? No, sir. Ustaz can't go wrong because they're human beings. Okay, so are, is it possible that you are wrong too? Yeah, it, okay. even I could be do wrong you speak, too. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak okay, Arabic. Okay, how you can give interpretation for a language you do not know? Uh, because uh, when I read uh, across the Quran, I found two words. One was Nutfa hmm. and other one was Ma in Dafik or Mani in Yumna. Okay, what, so what, they are what, what Nutfa mean? Between them. What, what Nutfa mean? As per what my interpretation, Nutfa means uh, it's a mixture of male and female, uh, mm. yeah, a mi mixture of ma male, male sperm and female egg. Okay. And forms, hold on, uh, hold on. Do you, accept, do you accept your prophet explaining this verse or you don't accept your prophet? I accept my prophet. Okay. But not all the hadith, but. Uh, no, we will, only, we will show, only, we will show only, we will show only what is authentic. Is that fair? Yeah, fine, fine. All right, here we go. This is a this is an authentic hadith. Okay. It is. I, I don't see it. The prophet now. said. Fine, you can read me out. No, prophet. The prophet said, the messenger of Allah said, the man water uh -huh. is a thick and white, and the woman water is a thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Do you agree with that? <laughs> That cannot be true because uh, thank you. That's that's true. This Could guy, this he, guy, he just laughed at his authentic hadith, which means he just laughed at the prophet teaching. No, no, no. So hadith you was did. No, you did. This is authentic. You see, a second ago you said to me you accept so only what is authentic. You said to me you accept only what is authentic. Yes, and this is authentic. Yeah. That. It could be wrong because it could well, it is authentic. Years. You see now, look what you are saying to me. You are saying to me, we are Muslims, we play uh -huh. games. Anything will make Muhammad look like a fool, we will say it is not authentic. No, sir. Uh, one thing I want to make on is Quran, you cannot uh, disprove it all. You cannot deny absolutely 110% that Quran okay. is Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will, I will go, I will, I, will go, I, will go I will go with your lies to the end. Uh, notice here, I'm, I'm, I'm saying lies because I'm going to prove it in a second. Does the Quran speak okay. that you said to me that Nunutfa, uh -huh. Nunutfa uh -huh. is the uh -huh. woman and the man water? Yeah, mixture. It's a male mixture. sperm and female okay. egg. Is it, is, yeah. it, is it a gushing forth fluid? No, no, it's not a gushing forth fluid. Nutfa is not gushing forth No, fluid. it is. It is. Read with me. Here we go. فَلْيَنْظُرَ الْإِنسَانَ مِمَّا خَلَقْ خُلِقَ مِنْ نَاءٍ دَافِقْ Why you are lying? Yeah. Gashing it's forth. Mine, that's gashing it's mine, forth. It is gashing forth. What is the gashing forth? The egg is not gashing it's forth. It's, it's sperm. Sperm is gushing forth. Listen, yes, the sperm is gushing forth. It says here that it's created from the water which is gushing forth. And yeah, you are the one who said to me that not far, be there. Listen, it is you who said that the word not far is from male and the female. But this is a water yeah. which is gushing forth. Yeah, I, I'll, so, I'll explain. To so you, it is uh, ejac ejac ejaculation. Is a male ejaculation. Yeah, a male ejaculates his sperm. So that is mine, Dafi. So okay. After that, it goes to a woman's womb and enjoins with the egg. Okay, let and me, then let it me, comes let me No, this is not true. Because we showed you where it your prophet true. explained it. He says, whoever of them comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. No, that could be wrong. That is absolutely wrong. I can, okay, I don't hold on, hold on. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let us play your game. Let's play your game. Chapter okay. 23, verse okay. number 14. It says that we made the fl the the the, uh, the clot, we made the nutfa into a uh -huh. clot. Is that true? Yeah. How is that? So, uh, a nutfa, the English word I found is a zygote, okay? No, no so this, is, this is a lie. This yeah. is a lie. No, 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 no. A second ago, you said to me, nutfa is a sperm. Now you are saying zygote? Yeah. Just, just, yeah, just, sperm, just, just get lost. Just get, lo mixture just mixture get lost. I have no time. You are a deceiver, Ahmadiyya. I can tell. Liars. You have no shame. A second ago, it is recorded. You say, not far as a sperm. Now it's a zygote. And the not far became a clot, 
which is a congealed dead blood that is absolutely false so now you are in a stage where you are a notfa and then for 40 days you became still a notfa and then after 40 days you became a dead blood and then after 40 days you became a lump and after 40 days you became a flesh and then after you know you, you, you we make you bones so bones is the last thing to be created and all this time you are just a flesh this is stupid that is absolute lie so look how they lie they lie about the interpretation we show them their own scholars interpretation this is how Islam understood for thousands of years and now they are trying to get away when we show them what their prophet even said they say oh this is funny this is not true this is gonna be the prophet saying that this is how the prophet explain it who are you to say this is not a true but I will tell you what happened because you are ashamed it's a disaster it's horrible it is a stupid this guy is proving that the prophet is a fraud the only way to get away with it to say this is not authentic but in the front of us it says sahih which means it's very authentic so for the sake of a fraud what is authentic is not authentic anymore why I want to waste my time with a liar So he go to a Christian lady and he say, okay, how Jesus say in this sentence? This sentence proving that Jesus is not God. And we got you busted. Because we have a book, not a sentence. To understand who is Jesus, you don't read a verse. If you are really truly honest, you should know that from the first verse in the Bible, it says that Jesus is God. In the beginning, it was the word and the word was with God and the word was God that is the first verse and that is about Jesus and the world became a flesh the world became a man this is what the whole Bible is saying so shame on you Muslims to say and say hey there's a verse in the Bible says Jesus is not God while well, all the book all of it is about Jesus being God so either you take the book or you don't take it and look at the Muslims they don't take their books anymore because they are ashamed of it we Christian we don't do that we will never ever regret believing in our book and we will never say there is something there is not authentic I will never say that Matthew said something not authentic or John said something not authentic. But for they are ashamed of the fraud prophet, they deny his teaching and even they laugh. You heard him laughing, right? When I read for him this, he was laughing. He's right. It's laughable. This is a joke. The prophet even, he, uh, he is a professor. This guy, he knows everything. He explained to us where the sun goes every day and that in total agreement with the Quran how the sun set in murky water The Muslims in order to get away from this they will say we don't agree with it But the Prophet say that and written by Muslims Reported by Muslims printed by Muslims published by Muslims memorized by Muslims yet. It's not right today so in order to run away from this madness, stupidity, they say we get, uh, ah, eh, no, the Quran doesn't say the sunset in murky water, brother. No, no, it doesn't say that. This is how the guy in the Quran, he thought. What thought? Where in the verse it says he thought. And the one is talking is Allah, not even the guy. And what make it more funny, Dr. Muhammad, who is a, he have a PhD in uh, biology, psychology, geology, anything, you name it, you name it, Muhammad, he knew everything. 
Look what it says in the verse. Until Allah is talking now. Allah is talking about a guy, his name, the guy with the two horn. I mean, look at the name. The guy with the two horn. You cannot even give us a name. Because this is how they caught him in the fiction story written by a Syrian guy. Enter when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is the sitting place of the sun? Where is that? Allah is talking, not Allah he thought, saying, or oh, the guy he thought the sitting place of he is saying Allah is reporting a fact, reporting the story until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is that? My friend, I can see the sitting place of the sun from my chair right now as I'm sitting here. You do not know that you do not need to go anywhere to see the sitting place of the sun. Where, where is that, the sitting place of the sun? He found it sitting in a spring of hot water. The Muslim, they say, oh, oh here, Zulqarnain, he thought that the sun, because it goes in the ocean, it appeared. My friend, first of all, it says spring, spring. Have you ever heard of an ocean is a spring? There's a legions about people believe that the sun every day go and jump in a spring of volcano water. And this is why it get hot and then come up again. It's not an ocean. Don't fabricate and don't lie. The ocean is not a spring. It's a black, it's a muddy, it is hot, it is boiling water. What kind of God this God is? And he found near it, near what? Near where the sun set. Near the muddy spring, hot, boiling water, he found people there. And Allah reporting the story. Chapter 18 in the Quran alone is the best comedy ever guys why I have I have only 26 dislike from Muslim this is not fair honestly it is not fair I mean me Christian Prince I have only this 26 dislike I mean come on Muslims do something better only 26 you know what I'm going to retire there is no way 26 dislike only that is an insult to me and the Christians they gave me 1400 they're like only why Christians let me give you a way to get a blessing from Allah if you like something and dislike it I am a kafir supposedly if you like me and dislike me Allah will give you double reward let us do this you like me and then you dislike me Allah will give you I mean look how stupid even the reward have you ever heard of a logic like this and if we continue in the same chapter you will see that the guy he changed direction he followed another way okay what happened when he followed another way? <laughs> until when he came to the rising place of the sun like what where is the rising place of the sun <laughs> he found it rising on people who um allah provide no shelter And then Zulkarnain, the people they told him, there is people they are called Gog and Magog. They are not a human. Their ear is so big like a tent. You can sleep inside it, brother. They are attacking us. So they told him, can you build a dam for us between the two mountains so we can stop them from coming? Gog and Magog, every their population is, from every one of them, there's a 1,000 to one a human. So if we are today one, 7, 000, 7 billion, there's 70 billion. Gog and Magog. And they're not a human. We cannot find them. Why? Because they are behind this dam, brother. 70 billion a creature. We cannot find them. And they are behind a dam made from iron and copper. And then Zulkarnain, brother, he made the dam. And brother, until now, they are unable to come out of the dam. Go, go. By the way, I want to tell you something. Uh, this is true. Uh, 
I was thinking to marry a girl from Gog and Magog because as long as she can give me 1,000 baby, I said to myself, what about having 1,000 uh, Christian Prince Jr. and the open uh, uh, chat rooms to debate the Ustad from Indonesia? And trust me, they cannot debate them. If I have a kid, he is two years old, he is wearing his diaper, and he cannot even say two words together, and Ustad from Indonesia, they cannot even debate his diaper. Gog and Mago, are you sure? And until now, by the way, and look what happened. He told him, okay, 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 give me pieces of iron and I will make a dam between you and those two mountains so they cannot come. Okay, can they all go around the mountain? No, they cannot because the earth is a flat. <laughs> The earth is a flat and the mountain is dividing the two sides of the earth. That's what it means. Otherwise, they can go to the other side. Let us say now we build a mountain between uh, uh, USA and Mexico. Or let us say between uh, uh, Israel and uh, Gaza. They can come to the other side. <laughs> what mountain? What wall? How big this wall is? And then Muhammad, he claimed that when he is born, or let's say when he became a prophet, the, the people of Gog and Magog, they were able to open little tiny hole in the wall. You believe it? We cannot find this hadith. It's okay. Let us see this one. They have endless numbers of hadith about the fiction of Gog and Magog, and those poor Muslims believe in such fairy tale story. Allah Apostle performed tawaf around the Kaaba while riding his camel. The guy he don't even walk around the Kaaba. Imagine a holy ground. This man is using his uh, electric chair the the camel how the Kaaba is holy and you are riding a camel around the Kaaba you don't want to walk how this is a holy ground the camel he would do poo, poo how this is a holy ground and you go in a holy ground with your camel going around the Kaaba so why most times you don't do a tawaf around the Kaaba with camel or a horse And then the prophet, when he reached the corner of the black stone, because this is where he received his information, like he received him, you got mail. The prophet said, an opening has made in the wall of Gog and Magog, like this. And he made a hole in his fingers. Like this, even he got the size, brother. I mean, the prophet, he get inspiration with the size. A hole is open in the wall of Gog and Magog. So now Gog and Magog, they can see me in my short. <laughs> True story. Anyway, guys, how many of you did not subscribe yet? Don't forget to please to subscribe if you are specifically from Indonesia. I dictated this time. I woke up really early in the morning because I stay, you know, like uh, uh, my 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 day schedule is different. But the time I do right now is specifically for Indonesia and people who live in Asia, like Malaysia, India, etc. So I hope that this time we are giving to our beloved Asian people, and I love you all of you, Muslims and Christians, not only Christians, Hindu and Christians, atheist. Believers, non-believers. For my Lord, he says, love everyone. We love you all. And because of love, we are doing what we are doing. Otherwise, I'm not willing to waste my time to speak about such a stupid religion the first thing in the morning. I mean, this is really annoying. You don't know how much really I hate to talk about this topic. 
but because I find there is nobody can do what I do so I have to do it somebody have to clean the garbage it's like how much you hate really to clean the garbage this is how much I hate to talk about this topic but because still the one who cleaned the garbage is extremely important to the society so voluntarily I am cleaning the garbage because I love you all and we want to save as many as we can please my friend love the Indonesian Muslims never hate them they are poor people they need your help they are good people who've been deceived they are not bad believe make us bad ideas make us bad human being is made to be good but he make wrong choices and choices can affect your life and if I have anything good in my life it is his name which is the Christ otherwise I'm no one I am NOT a bishop I'm not a priest I'm not a holy man I am no one but because of his name and because of his love I do what I do he said for free you took for free you give and this is what we give for free next week like today I'm going to publish my book in Indonesian language Quran and science in depth and is going to be posted here as we speak the same time today for free as a gift from me for people of Indonesia Christians Muslims Buddha whoever you are for absolutely free you will have it as a gift from a Christian prince don't take me wrong I'm not a rich man I need money but I believe that saving hundreds of millions is more important than having little money in my table God will give me what is better and he is my provider thank you for being here may the Lord bless you all and until I see you again next week again Saturday the same sorry it's going to be Saturday not Tuesday Saturday the coming Saturday in the morning we will be here again but doesn't mean that I'm not going to be here until then don't take me wrong I will be here many times but this is when the day I'm going to give my book for free we will post it as a link and everybody is free to download and share it with whoever you want and this is my book and this is the only book I allowed to post around Quran and science and depth in the Indonesian language and more books to come soon I hope thank you very much may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and with this I leave you in peace thank you